Hi everybody. We are about to try something new with the Colts. Um, I've got to go put some fence posts in and to kill two birds one stone we're going to try something different. Um, we've got uh, Trudy and Abby are helping today and uh, Trudy is behind the camera where she thinks she likes to be and Abby is going to help me. So um, we actually did this this morning as far as hitching the colts up what i'm going to do and uh but we'll get going on this and hopefully it'll work better this afternoon than it did this morning because we had some problems but um nothing serious but um we'll they seem to eventually get the hang of it and it went pretty well so i expect some problems to start with but i think they'll be fine after a very short period of time and we'll go out and put some fence posts in the ground so Let's go get started. Got that. This is what we did this morning. Um, I put this two by six across and secured this on good so it's on this side of the pipe. I decided that since I exercise the horses quite often throughout the years um, with this sled, I can once in a while put the colts right behind them and that way they can get their, their exercise and get more training process, get them used to it all. So um, that's what I did this morning. I got it all set up and uh, we attempted to go with them, and to start with, they fought it terribly. They just pulled terrible. But uh, um, they eventually got over it actually fairly quick, and uh, we uh, we got going with them. So now I'm going to do that, and we're going to go out and see about getting some fence posts in, besides working the colts.
So where we are now is currently a hay field and dad is putting in fence posts so that he can make part of it into a pasture. He usually walks about 12 paces to measure where he wants to put his fence posts. And the ground is nice and soft right now, so that's why they can go in so easily. We had a lot of rain this past week, which also made the grass a lot greener. Did you help keep it straight? No, I mean my line. Oh. I'm not sure how I'll do that. This will most likely be a pasture for the colts to stay in. So dad just uses one wire through all his fences. He does that all the time. And as long as it stays hot, that has no problem keeping the cows in. But of course, a lot of times it doesn't stay on or whatever goes wrong. And we end up chasing cows all around the North Country. I can think of countless times when we had to get up from eating or whatever we were doing and go chase cows. Well, that's a sweeping statement, Dad. <laughs> Classic. While they were finishing up, I decided to go over and check on the cows. Dad had told me about a little calf, a newborn he had seen a few days ago, and I will show the video of that here. Okay, time to get up. Go back to Mama. And I got to see the little calf right there on the right. It looks like he's doing pretty well. So that's cool. And of course I had to go visit the place where Abby and I used to play when we were kids. We called it the rock in the tree. Very original, I know. But I remember one time specifically when it was early spring like this, still really cold. Someone drove by and saw that we had no shoes on, but she didn't really care. I'm literally stuck. I mean, not that foot, but this foot. Hold on. Oh my. Wow. Wow dee dow. Ah! I eventually got out and made it back just as they were finishing that segment of the fence and ready to go on to the next. There is just one more spot. If the colts behave, I want to go up there and put in a few more fence posts there. So. Um, we'll go do that, and then we'll be done.
beyond that wide and heavy. So this last section that we're heading to is part of a permanent pasture. Some of the fence posts had just fallen down, which happens sometimes. So we're going over to repair them. The nice plow ground. The chainsaw is starting up for the first time and the Colts have not experienced that. And they might freak out. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but they, they did pretty well with the pounding of the fence posts. They did very well. So, so, so proud. proud. They're doing so well. Oh, look, it started. Oh, this is bad. Wow. Oh, they're freaking out. <laughs> they're absolutely out. freaking out. I, I don't know how we'll contain them. Ah, wow. yikes. But, um, <laughs> when I started up the drone the other day, they were in the pasture, like a long ways away, and it's not even that loud. And they freaked out. They were like running, dead run, in a circle. And I thought they were going to come through the fence. <laughs> <laughs> but they didn't. Oh, uh, this will be a fun activity. We'll show each of the colts. And then um, the first and the second, and then you can tell us in the comments if you can tell them apart which one's which. One of them is Earl, and one of them is Duke, and one of them is Duke, and one is Earl. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see how much you know. All right, here's number one. Okay, and here's number two. Well, if they're watching. Ooh, now do Ken and Buck. Ooh. So three and four, Ken and Buck. Okay, here's number three. And here's number four. Okay, do you think you know? Pause the video. <laughs> Just kidding. Write it in the comments below. Look at that beautiful sky. It is beautiful. It's a nice day. Yeah, it is. It's not even that cold. No, I've got my awesome shirt on. Receive the spirit of redemption as sons, by whom we cry, Abba, Father. The Spirit himself bears witness with our spirits that we are children of God. And if children and heirs, heirs of God, and fellow heirs with Christ, provided we suffer with him in order that we may also be glorified with him, for I consider that the sufferings of this present time. Nailed it. it. Might be. I'm not sure. Yeah. Meet my saw. They didn't um, do anything when you turned it on. I see that. Not surprised. But the drone freaked them out.
Bashful. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> 